Salutations everybody. In this video I'll be doing some tests on the uh, generator. I'll be doing an output test for voltage. See what happens when I spin this. When I spin the shaft. Basically I'm replicating what the motor, what the engine would be doing to the generator. And I also want to prove to you that uh, even if I reverse the polarities, the uh, rotation, it's still the same. I don't know if that's because I polarized it correctly or it just tends to that. I don't know. But it is spinning in the right direction. And if I spin it like a motor, it matches the rotation of the engine. So it is spinning, in my case, clockwise, which is the same as the engine. So if I were to put this in, in, in the uh, engine and, and spin it, it would spin together. So for that first test, connect this right now I have positive on the field terminal the A terminal the output terminal sorry the F terminal okay let me say that again the F terminal has to be connected to the ground which in my case is just the uh, housing of the uh, motor here and the uh, output terminal is just connected to the voltage source. So right now I have positive going to the arm to the A terminal and uh, negative black here is going to the case. And watch the direction of the rotation. That's turning clockwise. If I reverse these still turn in the same direction. Sure enough. I'll try to do it slowly so that you guys can see. See, that's the way it's going. Polarity reversed again, negative ground. So that's the first test. Now, for the second test, I want to do, um, I'm going to disconnect the A terminal, that's the output, reconnect, disconnect the ground here, and if it's connected by itself, as you can see nothing happens, because it's not completing the circuit. And the other terminal, going to sneeze. The other terminal connected to this voltmeter. Set it to 20 volts. Hopefully you guys can see the voltage. And the other lead, I must connect it to ground. So as is, we have 11.5 volts. 5.5, 5.4. That's as expected because this is a 12 volt battery charge. Now let's see what happens if I spin this. Right now the negative lead is connected to the uh, housing, but it could be connected to the F terminal. In which case I get same voltage. Okay, let's start with the F terminal. Nothing really happens. If I spin it the other way, let's try the ground here. Okay, nothing really happens. Oops, I have. To, now let's try the A term, which should be the correct test. This is for the. Uh, uh, that's where the output is. Okay. 5.4. As you can see, it's now changing. If I turn it, voltage is actually decreasing. We're at 11.45. When I let go, it's back to 11.5. If I turn it the other way, now voltage is increasing. 11.6. Use my left hand here so I can spin it faster.
somewhere at 11.6. And let go, it goes back to 11.54. So, I'm not exactly sure how to interpret these results. Um, but as you can see, something is happening. So the generator, all tests indicate that the generator should be working. Um, my thinking is that um, if I change it, we should try reversing the polarity here. Let's see. So before I was turning it clockwise, and it was voltage was decreasing. Just redo that test with polarities and burst now. Once again. direction, normal direction of rotation clockwise. So the other terminal at the uh, amp meter, once again red lead from voltage source to a red lead of multimeter or voltmeter, positive lead to the A terminal. Yeah, you guys can see that there. The output terminal or sometimes it's also called gen for generator term. Clockwise, voltage reduces, output gets smaller. I'm not sure it would do that. Okay, let's disconnect the... Uh, so I've been doing the test with the lead from the F terminal to the ground. Let's remove the F terminal, see if that changes anything. Normal volt 11.47. If I spin it, it still decreases to 11.4, 11.36. Ideally, we should connect to drill here, but I don't. I'm not able to do that right now. But just by hand, we can still see that voltage is decreasing. So let's do it with the uh, leads inversed. So right now, clockwise is decreasing the voltage. Which is kind of strange because uh, because that would mean that at very high rotations, it's actually uh, reducing the voltage. I'm not sure if that makes sense or not. It's inverse. Let's uh, change the leads here. See if that makes the difference. Black and black and red and red. Yeah, you guys can see those numbers there, eh? Yeah, you can. So with the positive ground system, the voltage is actually increasing. It's 11.53. I spin it clockwise. No change. So the other way it's decreasing. Visible decrease. Point, point 0.5 volts. It is increasing from 0.50 from the normal point 11.45, 11.45, it's increasing to 11.6, 6.2. So maybe 
maybe this generator it is a 12 volt generator but maybe it's for positive ground system that could be the case but I very much doubt AMC or any car car manufacturer would do something um, so crazy so not exactly sure what's going on generates okay, let's reconnect the uh, F terminal to the ground see what happens now so we have positive ground terminal uh, lead on the uh, output terminal count and spinning clockwise normal voltage of 11.5 to 1152 11.45 all the way up to 11.66 so this setup is actually increasing the voltage hmm. I'm gonna try to polarize the generator here so there's F. positive F, is a, F would still be the negative term Decreases all the way up to 11.4, 11.3 right? It's all about. It's not about like keep turning. It's rather you just give one really quick turn that you can see what happens to the voltage. Right now I'm back to negative ground. Counter uh, clock when I spin it clockwise, output voltage is actually decreasing. Hmm. Said I'm not really sure how to interpret this. Uh, let's do a light test as well. And if it's producing voltage, it should be uh, should turn on. I'm not exactly sure how to interpret these results because this here would still be connected to the voltage regulator, which would either send voltage in here or uh, uh, get voltage and transfer it to the battery. I'm not exactly sure how that system works. So. Connecting the uh, still negative ground generator, F terminal connected to the ground, and the test lead light connected to the positive. If I disconnect it to the uh, output terminal, I get a light. Turn the generator, I still get a light. I get a light at F as well. So major changes there well that's all the possible tests I could do uh, out of the car now I'm gonna put it back I know it spins so all indicates to me that 
this should be normal. Everything should be normal. Brushes are good. The uh, motor is spinning. The uh, uh, you know the motor is spinning. The uh, there is some voltage difference. Voltage is changing, so it should be working.